This video is of my recent trip to England. I went on a 10 day metal detecting tour with the Colchester Metal Detecting Club. My host was Mindy and we had a fantastic time when we were over there. I went with my buddy Tim. He's also known as Ill Digger on American Detectorist and a few other forums. And if you don't know, I'm also a moderator on American Detectorist and I'm known as Firefighter 43. So we were in the area of Colchester, which is in Essex County. It's one of the oldest Roman occupied areas in England. I think they invaded that area in 43 AD. There's uh, tons and tons of history over there and, and land everywhere that's had been occupied at some point. So this video is a bunch of clips of things that I found. I want to apologize for some of the wind issues that I had with the camera, but it's really hard to tell how the sound is affecting the wind or how the wind is affecting the sound when I'm over there, but there's a few clips that, that the sound wasn't the greatest, so I want to apologize for that. There's a clip when I find found a Roman silver coin and I was pretty excited. I got a little crazy with uh, cleaning it off. I probably rubbed it maybe too much for most people's liking, but you know what? It's my coin. I did what I did. So if you haters want to make comments about it, then go ahead. But I don't really care. I'm not, not doing anything with it. I don't think I did any damage to the coin whatsoever, but I didn't go crazy rubbing it, but I did rub it probably more than some of you people would like. I, overall, it was a great hunt. I found pretty much everything on the list of stuff that I wanted to find. I didn't find a gold coin, but I did find a small piece of gold. Um, I think it's a pin. So enjoy the video. If you have any comments or any questions about the Colchester Metal Detecting Club or um, the tour or anything like that, you're more than welcome to ask me. If you have any questions about my equipment, you're more than welcome to ask me that also. Um, as far as the Equinox, uh, I got it four days before I left to go over there. I basically brought it over there as a backup. I really did not plan on using it. It was a new machine I was going to use on, try it out in factory settings a few times. But I did have some issues with EMI and some issues with identifying iron. So I stuck to what I knew and I kept, uh, did most of the hunting with the Datas. So enjoy the video. And leave your comments if, if, you, if you like it, and give me a thumbs up. And watch for some of my more videos this summer. I'm going to put a lot of time on the Equinox so I can try to get used to it. So there will be some videos coming out with that. Welcome to Metal Detect in Wisconsin. But today I'm in the UK. My very first uh, hunt in the UK. I'm extremely excited to be in here. Just got, uh, I started playing around a little bit with the uh, Equinox, but since it's my very first day, it's actually our first afternoon here, I decided just to put it away and stick with what I know, and I'm gonna uh, wait till I, a better time. When I just have a little more time, I really wanna just get rolling here instead of trying to mess around with the new machine. But, so I got the Deus out, just, put my coil to the ground, took one swing, got a real nice solid hit, and uh, there's a coin laying right on top of the ground. I cannot believe this. 88, solid 88 on the Deus. You can see the coin, it's laying right on top of the ground. And what it is, a big, uh, I think it's one of those big pennies. I'm not going to rub it too much until I show it to somebody so they know what it is. Awesome. Very first UK find and it's a coin. It's going to be an awesome 10 days of hunting. So I'm going to get at it and hopefully I'll have a hammered silver to show you and maybe some gold too. That's my ultimate goal for here is to find something gold. I was getting like a screaming 92, 93. And there's right there on the pinpointer but I can see like just the edge of like either a button or a coin or something here. Looks 
like one of them big old copper coins. It's really heavy. That's cool. I don't think they clean up very well, so I doubt if I'll get a date. I, I cleaned that uh, big penny up a little bit, the first uh, coin I found, and it's 1917. So Not that old for here, but still pretty cool find. I think I found one of those in the United States once on a school playground. Okay, let's get back at it. I was getting like a 82, 83 on the Deus. I got this, it looks like a coin. I sprayed it with some water, but I can't really tell. I don't know, and it almost looks like it might have a part to a shank on the back, but. I'm not sure what it is really thin like a hammered coin but it doesn't look like it's silver it almost looks like it's copper so I don't know I'm gonna have to get one of the experts to take a look at this one and tell me what it is but cool find I found uh, probably three flat buttons and some two or three of the whole four hole buttons and uh, a bunch of other little pieces of copper and stuff that I'm gonna have to have looked at anyway but having a blast. It's just, just awesome digging stuff that is this old. So we'll get at it. Hopefully we'll get a hammered silver. I heard one of the guys got a um, hammered silver already. A, one of the small ones, kind of like a size of an American dime. So we'll, we'll take a look at that a little later. I just got this. Looks like a cut coin. Again, it's not. I don't think it's silver, but it's copper and I can kind of make out a little detail pattern on it. It's real thin. Not sure what it is. Found another uh, large coin, like a 1944. I don't know if it's a penny or what it is, but 1944. Then I got a, uh, or the other guys, there's three hammered so far today. We've been here like four, a little over four hours. Three small hammered coins. Tim and I haven't gotten a hammered yet, and neither did has Mindy or Gail. So I got about another hour before they before uh, Mindy picks us up. She went to the grocery store, so hopefully we'll get on board with a hammered. Be cool to do that the first day. Well, day two here in the UK, we're out on uh, plowed field. Got the day was day us again today. Um, still haven't gotten to the Knox. I'm going to uh, study up on it a little bit tonight and maybe try to get it out tomorrow. So, But kind of rough going through this rough plowed field that we're on today. But I just got a nice mid 40s tone and I got a really old looks like copper nail. That's what I think it would be. Might be something different though. But it looks like a nail. Kind of a cool find. I did find one round uh, like flat button in here too. So we'll get at it. Hopefully we'll have something really cool to show you today. We did a little night hunting last night. Uh, my buddy Tim found a 1787 half real uh, on the field next to where we're staying. So, And I found a couple, one flat button, one tom back button. So it was kind of a fun little two hour hunt in the dark last night. So get back at it and see what else we can come up with. I was getting a 17 on the Deus. I'm in 18 kilohertz by the way. I got a yeah, buckle. Some copper shoe buckle maybe. That's kind of cool fine. Slow going out here. The rest of the group was kind of up on the hill. I went down to the low spot here. I was seeing a lot of pieces of glass and uh, pieces of pottery. pottery but just uh, stuff like this. So I kind of slowed down and so I'm getting a few little targets in here. A couple pieces of copper. So obviously there was something around here. I was just getting uh, 
Let's see what, see what this number is. Lar 96 just slamming. I have this large round. It's got to be a coin. Look at the size of that thing. How thick that is. Not sure what it is, but I think I see some writing on it and maybe a head. I'll get it cleaned up and try to clean it up a little and see if I can get some kind of date off of it. Sweet. Like I said, I slowed down on this area where I'm getting a bunch of pieces of pottery and glass and old dishware pieces and picked a few up actually to show everybody because they're kind of cool pieces, but there's stuff, stuff in this little area. Sweet. First coin of the day. I just walked like walk like two feet away from where I just got that big coin. I was getting another solid 92. I stuck the shovel and I started piling it up and I actually see the edge of uh, some more what they call roundness. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yep, another coin. Another big uh, big penny or whatever the heck these things are. are, but I'm sure they're probably not worth anything, but I don't really care. They're old. That's what I came over here for, is the really old stuff. I can see a little writing, a little bust head on this one, too. Ten more feet. I got us getting a solid 73. I got another coin. Flopped it open, and here it is. Holy oh, crap! I found me a little hot spot here. Another greenie or whatever they call them here. Sweet. Ten minutes and three coins. It's got to be a little silver in this area. This has to be. I could scratch another one off my my list of things I wanted to find. I think I got a bale seal. This was coming in as a 72. These are made out of lead. You can see a little pattern on there. I don't know if you can see that. Sweet. I was getting a 73 on this one. Got another coin. group is gathering in one area, kind of on the other end of this field. They've all been over. So I'm guessing they must be finding some stuff over there. I tried to call one of them, but I keep getting them on the phone, so that's why you're stuck with this. Uh, it's been slow going since that last coin, as far as coins wise, but I've been digging a ton of buttons. Probably at least 20 buttons already. And I think I got another bale seal, so I'm up to three bale seals now. I just got another coin. It's like another big penny or. Nice to be able to see what these are, but it takes a little work, I think, to clean these up. We only got about a half hour left here. Then it'll be lunchtime, and then we're going to move on to another field, so. I've still, I spent the whole morning in this one little, one section of this field just because I was digging stuff, so. I think somebody got a groat, or a grot, a Roman grot. That's the only other thing I heard of 
bunch of buttons, some bail seals, I think a lead token. Well, we're out on this uh, new field for the afternoon. Now, we were out on a kind of a pasture type field and Mindy called and said that her and Steve were on a on a field and the first signal she got on the field was a half a ham so she said called me tell me to tell the other guys to come on over here well Tim was already across the road so I didn't have a chance but I saw George on the way back and told him to follow me we just got here I, I swung maybe three four swings and I was getting a nice solid 58 I got my first hammered summer yes I'm not gonna rub on it too much I'll maybe spray a little water on it that is a hammered silver. Whew, I just I didn't want to be that guy that was on the last day and not have a hammered silver. So day two, not even a full day yet. Oh, just about a full day between the half day yesterday and half day today, and I got my first hammered. Awesome. I'll clean it up and show it to you. I cleaned it up. I was told this is a voided short cross, which one guy didn't even know there was a voided short cross. I'll flip it over here. This side's really nice. This was coming in like a 73. I have another coin, I think, or it could be a button. That's a button. Tom back button. I just showed that long cross or short cross hammer that I found on Mindy, and uh, she said it's a really that's a really really old one. So that makes me even more excited. You know that I found this extremely old hammer. Okay. I've gotten a couple uh, veil seals, and I think it's that one thing that I found, that smaller copper that's really thin. Someone said that might be a jet, whatever that is, but I just got another hammered, at least a partial hammered. It looks like about a quarter of a hammered, but I don't think it was cut. I think it was actually just broken off came in like silver and I think I see like a little flower in one of the sides but it is like paper thin. That's cool. Counts in silver. It's going to be getting dark pretty soon. We're going to stay here and hunt in the dark for a couple hours I think. But it's getting really cold. Just put my stocking cap on and I'm getting out some warmer gloves too. It's windy and cold. So get at it, I don't think I'll be doing any filming and unless I get something really good I'll try to do it in the dark, but other than that Well here we are on uh, day three. Hold on. repeatable blip that you can find and I've, that's what I've been doing for about two hours now um, I have some little tiny buttons uh, flat brass tacks probably, you know ten different items nothing really special they got looks like a little piece of copper or brass maybe part of a buckle or 
something. It's pretty thin. Something decorative anyway. Finding my first, like, what I say, significant find for the day. I think they've said they're, the club has found over 40 gold coins on this field. And some are the little tiny gold coins, so you got to dig. Like on the dais, um, I would set up to pretty much a high tone starting at about 30. So anything over 30, you got to pretty much dig. I think it's like around 29, 28, a lot of coke comes in there. Iron and just above coke, is there, and you're pretty much digging everything. And I've been digging the tiniest signals because those little gold coins they said you'll you'll barely be able to hear them. So I'm digging the right size stuff, but just not any gold. So I got everybody scattered out over this field. I'm not going to get too much in the video because they don't want people to find out where these fields are. So hopefully I'll have uh, some gold to show you. That's my goal when I came over here. My main goal is to find that gold. We're only staying here till noon and then we're moving on to a different field after after lunch. Uh, it's been a pretty slow day finds wise. I've been finding little bits and pieces of uh, different copper and brass and lead and um, I did find one little tiny lead thing about the size of a pencil that has some markings on it and uh, a brass copper ring or something. Looks really old. One copper brass type thing that looks a little suspicious. It's kind of in the shape of a coin. This came up really high on the dais. Like 95 I think it was. And this is the copper ring, it's real heavy duty, not sure what that is, I have to get it ID'd. I just got a 73 or something and I got another button, there are just tons of buttons out here, at least I think this is a button. Concave back. I want to show you something else that's really cool that you see out here in all these fields. You can see that sticking out of the ground. That's a uh, clay pipe stem. And I found one yesterday that had uh, a little bit of the bowl still attached to it and it had some decoration on it. So these are all over the place. There's a hole right down the center. We got, I think, about two more hours before we have to get off this field. And we're going out for fish and chips tonight. Friday fish fry, but they call it fish and chips, which is fish and fried fish and French fries. So hopefully I'll get a few more something good before we call it a day. I think I have my first coin of the day, at least half of a coin. A greeny half. Yeah, you rubber people don't have to worry about coins like these. These things are toast. Been in these fields for hundreds of years. I want to mention too the second field we're on today had has had a ton of Roman and. Uh, Celtic finds on this field, so it's really, really old. It's been occupied for a long time. And this field is just massive. There's four of us out here right now, or five of us out here right now, and I can barely even see the other guys on the other end of the field. It's, that's how big this thing is. And you just, it's all about luck, I think, over here. You can find little hot spots here and there, but you just basically just walk around and hope you walk over something good. Well, we're out again. This is uh, day four. Um, yesterday was kind of a slow day, I thought, but I'm 
We're on a field now today, which had they, they call the Roman Horde field. I guess a big Roman Horde of whatever coins and other artifacts were found here. Tim got a really nice little tiny Roman coin, and uh, he, I ran it. I'm actually for all you. down to I think I'm at 18 and I went to two tone instead of 50 tone. I'm going to turn the pinpointer off. Um, extremely sensitive machine. I mean, I'm picking out little tiny bits of uh, lead and uh, little tiny pieces of copper too so it's a very very sensitive machine. And depth te air testing on a few coins Seems to be getting something, but I'm extremely excited to show you what I just found. This is a one of the little tiny Roman coins. And I don't even know if I'll be able to zoom in on this thing, but you can see there's a soldier. I don't know if this is gonna zoom in or not, but there's a soldier on the on this side. You can see his little pleated skirt. I'm not even sure if this is gonna focus in on that, but I'm so excited. Tim found one like little tiny Roman coin like this too and then uh, half of a like maybe American nickel sized Roman coin. Yesterday I did find a coin that was kind of suspect and everybody as it dried out you could kind of see a bust so they think that's a Roman bronze coin too that I found yesterday. So we're going to get at it here for the morning on this Roman Hort field. I think we're moving on somewhere else after that. This one I was getting a 8, 9, but repeatable in both directions. And with these little tiny uh, targets, it's really, and sorry about the wind, it's really difficult to, uh, to figure out the depth. I mean, I, the little tiny coins and little pieces of lead and stuff they're just barely under the surface well this one was down probably about two or three inches but so I'm going to show you the screen anyway on this one this is another little tiny Roman coin I can't really make anything out on it but at least we'll show you some numbers here this is showing well actually this is like an inch inch above the coin right here look at the depth meter it's showing it down like really deep so one of the other little uh, I found like four of these little tiny coins one that you that I showed on video before was uh, the only one that's legible but they came in from number four all the way up to number 11 and I think this uh, field program starts to discriminate or puts the one and two, which is coke, down into the uh, into the low tone, and then the high tone is everything three and above. So if you want these little Romans, if you're a UK person, you need to make sure you're digging all the way, taking anything three and above. Um, that cut or that other Roman coin, my my. That under the coil and it was coming in at four. And it's a bigger coin, but it was only about a quarter of it was there. So um, I think that's all I wanted to add to this part. I'm gonna get back at it and hopefully we'll find a few more. I just wanted to add the size so you can get kind of an idea of the size of this coin. That's my thumb it's sitting on. So it's just a little tiny, little tiny copper or bronze or what I don't know what these are made out of.
after this field, the EMI was just terrible, and I could not get that Equinox to, to quiet down. I wasn't going to hunt like that. Go around out the field, um, used to have a castle on it. The castle was torn down. Three buttons so far, but it's like 90, low 90s. And they said they found some Roman here, and they weren't lying. I got me a big Roman coin. I don't know if you can go focus in on that, but you can see the head. That is a sweet coin. It's about the size of a U.S. quarter. And I, I am stoked. It's been a hell of a Roman day. I think this is my fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh Roman coin. So that's awesome. The only thing, bad thing about this field, well, one is the EMI. There's power lines running right through the middle of it. And then the other thing is, uh, it's loaded with trash from when they tore that castle down and before it got plowed in the field. It's been a while since I got that roll and dug a few more buttons. It's been a nice solid 86 in both directions. I got it kind of made me see a tiny bit, a little bit of a bust on it. I think this is a Roman silver. I think it's a Roman silver. Cleaned up as best you can and try to get an ID on it. Awesome find. I just showed it to the other two guys that are right here by me. They're almost possible it's a Roman, but the one's pretty sure it is. I mean, that looks like a Roman dude. This is just unbelievable. This is exactly why I came over here to find coins this old. I think I'd rather have this than a, uh, maybe not more than a gold coin, but you know, a modern gold coin. This is just the find of a lifetime right here for me. I found this thing. I 
and you got to see it coming clean on tape. Well, back at it, maybe there's, I didn't even recheck the hole, maybe there's another one in there. I'll get at it here. This is day five. We're back on our uh, Roman Horde field, or not the Roman Horde field we were on yesterday, but the one that they just recently found, the 14 Roman Silvers. I found the uh, Roman Grot, and uh, this was our field we were on the first day, so we're back here to give this another try. This is new land, so there's a lot of targets out here. I just had a nice solid 87, I think it was, and I got Looks like a copper. Looks like it might have a little detail to it. I see a bust anyway. So hopefully I can add to my Roman count because there's Romans here. Maybe add a hammer or two. I'm in the area where I think about six or seven hammers were found in this area that I'm in right now on the field. I'm going to try this for a while and then head out to where they found the Roman silver. This was coming in at 75. I got a button, but I'm not, not going to film too many buttons, but this one actually has a little gold gilding on it. So try to clean it up a little bit here. Show you. See if I can get any detail off this. Oh yeah, it's a pretty little button. It's got some design to it. Most of the buttons you find over here are just flat tom back buttons or just flat modern. I got a couple of like flower pattern some of the smaller like cufflink buttons. I need to refill my water bottle. Another windy cold day. It started out it was like 32 degrees. The high today is supposed to be 35 and winds anywhere up to 20 miles an hour for a couple of days. The ground was maybe frosted down a inch today, so it's a little more difficult to, to dig, but the sun's coming out and it's starting to, starting to uh, get a little bit easier to dig. Cool. It's been a fairly slow day, and for you Equinox guys, comfortable with the uh, Equinox. I know it did find me four little tiny Roman silvers or Roman uh, coins yesterday but I'm just not quite there with that yet and I just trust the, trust my skills with the day was much better so day us sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong but this had uh, I think this was 77 another copper kind of see the bust of somebody on there I'm in the area now where they found all the Roman silvers last week. So hopefully I can pull another Roman something out of here. Dug a few buttons, a bunch of pieces of lead. That's about it. There's very few signals in here. Because they, they kind of pounded this for a couple days, the group that was ahead of us. And we were here once too for half a day. This was a solid 84 and I got an interesting looking buckle. It's, what's weird is it's like silver colored on one side and the other side is copper colored. Not sure how old it is, if it's old or not. Looks pretty old to me. Get the sun out of there. And I'm right in the area where they found the Roman silvers, according to one of our guys, I thought it was like right in this, probably with, I don't know, 50 square yard area. Getting that high tone, I was thinking, whoa, that's nice. Coming in just like the Roman silver I found yesterday. But I think 
a nice little relic. We're back on the field that we were on the other day. This is a new permission, so I think we were actually the first ones on this field. I just got a real solid, I think it was 76, 77. I got a coin, but it's weird because it looks almost like one side is painted yellow. I don't quite get that. And you flip it over, it's copper. And it almost looks like a, like a Chinese coin or something. You know, I'll clean it up and try to figure out what it is. Another coin I found turned out to be a 1979 penny. So I guess it isn't all Romans and uh, hammered silver over here. Somebody had painted it up, but I just had found this coin. It was coming up like 77 on the day. Let's see if I can get it up here in the light, but I can see like a... Sorry about my camera work, but this is not a not the greatest camera in the world. I like it. It's waterproof, dustproof, and everything else. So I'm not sure what this is, but I'm not going to clean it because it looks really old. I know there are some old coins that are about this size. So I'll figure it out and post it with the rest of the video. coin just like the one that I dug earlier. Um, this is a penny dated 1860. It's the exact same one. It looked the same figure that it's on that other one. So now I know what that other one is because it's exactly like it. So this would be considered modern coin over here. This would be considered an awesome find in, around me where I live. So we got about another hour before it's dark. But this spot we're in is really close to uh, where we're staying, so we can night hunt here. It's going to be down to about 25, 30 degrees at night, so it's going to be pretty cold and the wind's blowing about 20 miles an hour. But we're dressed for it, Tim and I and uh, Wisconsin Steve, and we're probably going to hunt until we're too cold and then go back and have some chili. I think we're having chili for dinner. and. Have a few beers and get ready for tomorrow. It's about, I think, halfway through the day tomorrow will be our halfway point. So get at it. Um, once it gets dark, obviously I'm not going to be doing any filming, so hopefully I'll get a few more before the darkness comes. Well, this is day five. I don't think I have anything on video yet, and it's pretty much towards the end of the day. I had the uh, day of south this morning on a field called the Carrot Patch. Didn't find much of anything. Uh, Tim found a long cross penny, hammered coin, and uh, I think uh, Wisconsin Steve found a hammered noble, I think is what they called it. Now we're back on a, a field that's been dissed, so it's a little bit smoother than a rough plow. 
Yeah, I used for the first two hours here this afternoon. I was using the Equinox and just testing it out. I was having too many issues with identifying iron, so I ended up putting it away. And got the Deus back out. Found a few buttons so far. I was just getting a real high 95, slamming 95, and got me a copper. Obviously, you can't tell what it is because it's pretty toasty. So I think we have maybe about an hour and a half left to hunt so hopefully I'll have something good today the last two days have been slow ever since I found that Roman silver I haven't been uh, finding much of anything a few coppers and well you guys saw what I found on the video yesterday but today has been really slow for me this was coming in as a 77 looks like it could be one of those pennies I think it's a one tenth or something like that. I think I found a couple of these yesterday. About the right size for that anyway. Welcome to day seven. We got ourselves one hell of a crappy weather day today. As you can see, I have about two inches of snow on the ground and it is coming down in buckets right now. It keeps snowing and then it stops for a while and so we got most of the snow overnight. The, the good thing is, is it uh, covered up the ground and and uh, insulated a little bit, so the ground is diggable. It's not frozen, but it's only supposed to be a high of like 35 today, and on and off snow flurries. Tomorrow is supposed to be 20 mile an hour winds in the low 30s, and then the next two days after that are supposed to be low 30s, maybe I think maybe mid 30s, but uh, windy like up to 30 mile an hour wind so it's going to be kind of crappy weather but we're here and we need to do it as long as uh, we can dig into the ground so I just got a 80 actually this was a 92 I got some kind of coin here like another greenie dug a few buttons so far this morning been here maybe an hour and a half just the first coin this field that we're on it's another gold hoard field. I don't know what kind of gold they found here, but they found like 10 gold coins in one area of this field. So I'll get at my snowy hunt and hopefully I'll have something really good to show you. You're not going to believe this. Uh, Tim just found a gold coin. You can see it on the right there. I didn't even pick it up or anything. Oh. That's not a little one. That's a full stator. Are you shitting me? Yeah. <gasps> I don't know what Girl, kind it is. shaking so goddamn bad. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Oh. I don't want to touch it. Buddy. I said I, if I found don't a wipe it. In this snowstorm, I would do a snow angel. There it is. Can you know why? Okay, I just found a gold coin. Definitely, oh. definitely going quiet. Quarter? No, it's a full one. Full one? Small. Want to spray it? No, yep. need you. That baby's. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You want to spray it, Tim? The water? I don't know what the hell to do, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it. What does it matter? Yeah, yeah. Right. It's like like Ronnie always Ronnie says, you go. Like they've that. been plowed under for two thousand years. Turn it over. It's just like it's just a Different disc. I don't see any detail on it. Oh, there's detail on it. That might be a uh, accident. I'm going to spray that baby. I don't think you're going to hurt it. Spray no, it no, I don't know. You're going to do it. Just dab it. If you're going to touch yeah. it, don't be wiping it. You got a spray bottle. That's even better. Hey, Rich. Yeah. You want a man that motherfucker for me? You got a video? Yeah, it's running. Just it's frozen. It's frozen. Uh, my spray bottle's frozen. Oh, unscrew mind. it. Unscrew it. Put some water. Yeah. There you go. The back. What is it? There's some little tiny markings on there, maybe. I don't see any. I don't know. 
what the hell? It's good. It's good. Oh, you won the patch, Tim. That looks like a horse. <laughs> Clean that one. Clean that one. You deserve it. Do I wear it right here? Yeah. Well, that's just like a. Just a slag? I don't know. Oh, there's a stop. Alright, who cares? Congratulations, dude. You rock, buddy. Go ahead. <laughs> yes! Come on, yeah, baby. Oh. So we moved on to uh, another field for the afternoon. Um, after Tim got his gold, we hunted for probably another hour after that and then we all ate lunch and moved on. We went to a field that uh, has produced a lot of hammers. Um, the snow is a little deeper there and we weren't getting much targets at all so we called up uh, Mindy, asked her if she'd come pick us up. Said it'd probably be a few minutes before she was back over there to get us to move us to another field. But So I started uh, some we all just started hanging out on one corner, swinging around, and I was getting a nice little 40, low 40s, 44, 45, 46. I think I got a little piece of gold here. It looks like a gold link, gold links, but it's actually not. I already picked it up and looked at it a little bit. It's all formed together, and it looks like there might have been a little like pin or something on here so I think it might be like a little tiny pin I looked at it with the glass there's a whole bunch there's two letters I think it was R A and then a whole bunch of numbers after that so it's it's stamped with some kind of maker's mark or something but I'm almost positive this is gold it just looks so much like gold it's got a little weight to it so we'll let Chris take it and do what he does figure out what it is and I'm sure he'll let us have a report for us in a few days. some brutal conditions. I've got like another inch of snow last night, or actually about two more inches of snow last night. Um, winds are blowing probably at least 20 miles an hour. The sun's been peeking out a little bit here and there, but it's just brutal out here. I have toe warmers in, I have every single piece of clothing on I can possibly get on. You know, hand warmers in my gloves, but my fingertips are freezing. Came here to metal detect, and we are finding stuff out here on this field that I found my hammer on the other day. Um, I cranked, I turned down my reactivity to get a little more depth because we're losing so much in three, four inches. It seems to be working much better. I was more reactivity than like three, but I got two greenies so far, and uh, I think five or six buttons. Um, so we're just going to try this for a while anyway. We've been out here like two hours already. we got another hour and a half before we go in for lunch and we're probably going to reevaluate. I'm actually thinking of maybe just hanging out in the barn in the afternoon. Just take, take a break so we can get ready for the last couple of days. You can see i got a plastic bag on my coil. We all got bags on our coil because the snow was sticking so bad. It's actually working awesome. The snow doesn't stick to at all. I'll get at it. Hopefully I'll have something to show you today. But if not, we'll be back for uh, day nine tomorrow. I just get a nice 82 on the dais. I got a little milled silver. Two Annas, A-N-N-A-S. It's got a date of 1841. My first milled silver since we've been here. Timmy just stopped by. One 
the good thing I was just saying is the wind is blowing so hard it's blowing the snow off my mouth. It seems actually not as deep as when we started. So I'll get back at it. Hopefully we'll have a few more. This is our uh, fines table at the barn after nine days. For most of it, it was only eight days because today the majority of us stayed in the barn. I stayed in because I was sicker than a dog. I got myself dehydrated. So all I did was rehydrate all day and I'm finally starting to feel good. So we got one more day tomorrow. It's gonna be a sh little bit shorter day. This is our contest we got going for hammered silver. And Tim is in the lead with four and we got two others with three. And I have two, and another guy has two, and one has one, and when it, the other one has no, none, no silvers. So most of these are going to be bagged up tonight, so that's why I'm making the video tonight, today. <laughs> that's all my bits and pieces. The bag is full of buttons. Oh, no, I didn't see it. Okay. The 20 bucks store is 63 cents. Tim's. They have an amazing yeah, it's California stuff. George. You know, electronic stuff. I mean, just everything. Wisconsin Mindy Steve. Has, like doctor's pants. Yeah. Mindy. 20 bucks. 63 cents. Gail. So I spoke, I said, and I. And Rich, he's got his stuff all banged up already. And, one cow. and I am going to buy the weirdest thing that I can find in the That's it. So I found the keychain. Hope we have one more day left. There's the barn, there's Tim over there. She may not really love it, but I'm giving it to her. Hopefully we'll have some good ones for you to show tomorrow. Well, this is day 10 and it's in the afternoon. I hate to say it, but I missed uh, pretty much two full days. I missed a half a day on day eight and all of day nine and half a day today because I was very stupid the first uh, four or five days I did not drink anything like I should have been drinking and I was drinking beer at night and eating salty foods and ended up getting myself pretty dehydrated so I spent the whole day well about 48 hours recovering from that um, concocted a, um, something I found off the internet to help me rehydrate and I was just drinking water and slowly eating food and getting my appetite back and so we have just the afternoon, about three hours left, and um, that's uh, that's what I got left for the hunt. So I'm, we're out in this field. Tim found uh, two cut halves and a cut quarter hammered off this little corner of this field. So there's Timmy up there. Steve is down there, so we're the only three left out of the group that's still hunting. Today's really not too bad. The wind died down a little bit. It's kind of a rainy snow mix um, the ground isn't frozen I got, got a couple greenies already and I just got this real thin greenie so it's coming up like a 72 I think on the dais so overall it's been a, a great week I just wish I went to screwed up and got myself dehydrated but I didn't must miss much yesterday because only Tim was the only one that braved pretty much the whole day. It was uh, 29 mile an hour winds, about 25 degrees. Snow was on and off. It was a, just a brutal day, so I didn't feel too bad sitting in the barn all day. But So we got a couple more hours to go and our, our uh, Mindy's gonna pick us up and then we're gonna go back, get our gear cleaned up and get packed up and ready to leave tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have a few more goodies to show you. I'm not sure if this is a real seal or if it's a lead token. It's got some writing on one side. I think the tokens are about this size, so it's got a number number eight on the other side. Got a few more buttons, a bunch of those copper brass nails. That's about it. Kind of a slow afternoon.